So let's uh, make the change to the last one. Oh no, I've done that again. Where we take that away from there. So it can be a bit fiddly when you're writing all on one line, but um, you'll get used to it eventually. So uh, I've just missed that arrow up there. Okay, so let's go back and refresh. Okay, so we've solved the two visible problems that we have. Now, let me just go ahead and register another user. Um, let's just say Craig. Uh, password pass123. I've got my database up here so I can, uh, I can click on my users and check um, how we're doing here. So password, pass123, pass, password, oh no, sorry, pass123. First name, Craig. Now let's let's have a look in our database at the uh, length of the surname. So let's um, click on structure and see how many characters we have. So we've got, we're storing this as a variable character data type with 40 characters, maximum 40 characters. So what happens if we were to say, let's just say, um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we'll do it another way. We'll say, um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, E, F. Sorry, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can get rid of the K. So we've got ten characters here. Um, and I'm, the reason I'm doing it in uh, as the alphabet is just so we can keep an eye on what's happening. So let me copy and paste that four times, or three more times. So we've got three instances now of this. Now what happens, uh, or four instances of this, so we've got ABC up to J, then ABC up to J, then ABC up to J, and then ABC up to J. So we've got four lots of this. This is 40 characters long. So when we click register, this is going to be able to, um, this is going to fit inside our surname field in our database. However, what happens if we, um, let's say go back to our form and we copy and paste it in one more time now that's going to equal, I've copied and pasted it in another time so we've got ABC up to J, 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 up to J. so we've got five instances with, of this same text so we've got 50 characters overall now let's click register you've registered so everything's appears to have worked correctly now let's go and browse our table and we'll come down. We can see that our our username's been popped in. Now we need to. Um, I'm going to click on this sort of little edit button, and I'm going to have a look at what's been stored here. So we've got ABC up to J, ABC up to J, ABC up to J, and ABC up to J. Now we've only stored 40 of the 50 characters we entered, and the reason for this is our varchar only allows for 40 characters as we've already looked at under the structure tab. So what we need to do is when we're registering the user, we need to look at checking up here. Um, we need to check how many characters each of these are, um, not including the password because that's hashed to a 32 character hash anyway, using the MD5 function, so we don't need to worry about the password. It's just the username, first name and surname that we need to check. And we do have one other issue with the database, which is usernames. If I was to now register a username, let's say with the username Craig, but with a small c, this is going to be allowed by this is going to be allowed by our by our uh, code. The reason being is we're not we're not talking about I don't yeah we're not we're not we're not looking well we're looking at case sensitive um, comparison. So if I was to register a user on here called Craig, let's go back to the register page with a small c. And Craig, and we'll just put, a, I don't know, uh, Garrett. Or say Malcolm. Okay, so now let's click register. Oh no, um, username of Craig already exists. Um, maybe okay yeah maybe maybe I'm wrong in that sense then so we've got 
yeah okay so we don't need to worry about that so let's just focus on this maximum character amount we have so what we're first of all going to do is edit our HTML uh, form uh, to only allow a maximum value to be submitted um, on the form and this isn't going to entirely protect against um, inputting masses of data because um, we're only allowing that within the HTML obviously someone could take your HTML page they could change this to your server so your your, your um, domain and then the URL that registers located at and they could submit the data from you know a local PC their own PC um, so what we need to do is we need to change the, the, uh, these fields to have a max value first then we need to check the length in PHP as well so let's uh, give it a property max length and for username let's just refer back to our database so we know exactly what we uh, what lengths we're dealing with um, so we've got 30 for the username 32 for the, for the password like I said we don't need to worry about that because the hash is more or less always going to be 32 characters and then 40 and 40 for the first name and surname